Hi, this is Diane from the Womat Public Library and I'm here to tell you about how to use your Paper Flyers Steam Kit. So, when you open it up, you're going to find three sheets of paper with dotted lines and solid lines on them. And then there's going to be two paper straws and four colorful paper clips. We are going to study aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, we're going to do that by making some paper spinners and flyers and watching them and observing them. Okay? So there's four forces that keep um, a vehicle in the air. So, let's think about a plane. A plane needs four forces. Thrust, weight, drag, and lift. And the two that I want to talk about first is thrust. Thrust is the power, that the force that moves the plane forward and that would be created by, from the engines. And you know, when you get on a plane, if you've ever been on one, there's a really loud sound in the beginning, that's the engine starting up, you need a lot of power. So that moves the plane forward. The lift is created by airflow around the specially shaped wings that we have on airplanes, and then that causes it to go up. And then you have to have all of the forces in balance. There can't be a lot of drag and there can't be a lot of um, weight. I mean, it has to be in balance. So when a plane stops, one of those forces, or a couple of them, are out of balance. The thrust actually is reduced, or and the plane slows down. And then the other is drag is created from the brakes and the landing gear, which are the wheels, and the flaps of the plane. So that's what keeps a plane in the air, and that's what brings a plane down, when those forces are either in balance or when they shift. So we're going to make three different paper flyers or spinners. The first is the, um, first you're going to take, we're going to do the fish spinner. You take out the sheet, you get your scissors, and you're going to cut along the dotted lines, okay, until you have five, five strips, five paper flyer strips, okay, and they're going to look like this. And then you have two more slits to make, okay, two more little, use, um, just cut right on the solid lines, then fold it, sort of twist it, and get those two slits to come together. And guess what? You have a fish. Yes, a fish shape. And this fish shape you want to, well, well, we're going to see how it works. Here it goes. You drop it from a high place and you observe. And I don't want to, I don't want to give it away, but it's, it's really cool. I think you'll like it. The second is called a whirly gig. Whirly gigs are like those helicopter um, seeds that come uh, from maple tree and they sort of fly like in a circle. Anyway, you're going to make one of those, but it's made out of paper. So take this sheet, cut down three solid lines so you have four Whirly gig templates. This is one of them. And then you are going to cut along the solid line here. And then there's two solid lines here. And then you're going to take it and you're going to fold it on the dotted line. And fold it on the dotted line. And then you're going to use one of your paper clips to get it to close. And that's also going to act as a weight. And then you're going to flip it upside down and you're going to fold it back and fold it forward and that, like that. Those are the flaps. Okay. Then you're going to drop it from a high place and watch it. It's going to spin. And I want to tell you, these, this is a way to show you what um, directions they're spinning. Counterclockwise, or clockwise and counterclockwise. Clockwise is like a clock. It goes to the right. It spins to the right. That's the rotation. Counterclockwise is the other direction. Okay, counter means like anti, okay? So those are two directions that you wanna be thinking about. The third thing we're gonna make is a straw plane. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get, this is gonna be, you're gonna have a chance to make two straw planes. You're gonna cut, first you're gonna cut it in half and you're gonna get one of these. And then you're going to cut along the, dot, uh, the solid lines. So you have a short strip and then you'll also have a long strip and you're gonna eventually get rid of this half. You don't need that part. So you'll have two strips of paper. I've already made one into a ring here, and you're gonna make the other one into a ring. So you'll have two rings, just attach it with tape. Then you're gonna adhere it to, with tape, to your straw, like that. Okay, you wanna make sure that it's level. You don't wanna tape it here, you wanna tape it here. Okay, see that? Then you're gonna take your plane, you're gonna put the small ring in the front, you're going to bring your arm back and throw it and see what happens. Think about the different forces that are at work.
thrust. Thrust. Um, the thrust is actually the the power from your arm. Okay. And of course, there's um, there's gravity. There's lift created by the different uh, shapes of the circles. Well, the gravity isn't created by the circles, but the gravity is what pulls it down. So, hope you enjoy your different. Oh, and by the way, your whirly gig. Uh, back to this, you can actually fold it in the opposite direction, like this. Like just, and then when it falls down, you can observe it and see what direction it spins. And that's kind of interesting and see how it compares to the other way. Um, we hope you enjoy your paper flyer steam kit. And um, I want you to, oh, one more thing. Sorry, I keep interrupting, but you can go ahead and think about designing, um, maybe make some changes to the design of any of these spinners or flyers by changing the uh, weight of the um, paper this is cardstock, it's a little heavier. You could try it with paper. You could change the um, thickness of the paper, maybe make this a little thinner. Um, you can change the shape. So be thinking about that, change the design. And um, see if you can get your paper flyer to fly faster or better or longer. We hope you enjoy it and um, thanks for being here. Bye-bye.